Hello everyone, this is Shadow 3 with another Acron FP VOD, and this time on Overgrown Citadel against Shalka. So I'm going to be going Vekir against Shalka, and I don't know what he's playing, but I will be finding out pretty soon once we get this Teth over there. The thing with Acron is that there's no lobby select at this point for races, although hopefully there will be soon. So races are selected right at game start. The advantage of this is that you can change your race, you can go back in time and change your race to fool your opponent, although that's really not practical in practice. The downside, of course, is that you can't quite make as many race-specific strategies, but depending on who you ask, there may be an upside. So at this point, I need to scout him out to know what he's playing. So at this point, I am playing back here, and I'm going to be going for a more steamroll build, where I build up, just gradually rebuild an infantry, try to avoid getting any killed, but also trying to slowly get myself pushing towards my opponent until finally I have a large enough army that I can just roll them over without having to worry about it. So opening of it is just building a few RPs, about 9 or so, and then getting a depot up. And from there, I can once the depot is building, I build up infantry as the depot is building, and then those infantry can be used both on their own and to build more vehicles. Because the thing with infantry is that they offset the cost of vehicles. If you build vehicles on their own, then they have a well, fairly high cost. But if you build infantry first, the infantry can do just what infantry do. And also, the thing with infantry is that they actually they reduce the cost of the vehicles by their own cost. So the cost of, of a vehicle and the cost of an infantry turning into a vehicle is the same. But the infantry can do work on its own. So this point, I'm going seeing that he's that Shalka is playing CISO, and at this point, I'm going to be having to worry a bit more about air units than I was before because CISO has a tendency to build air units more frequently than most races. And it can be problematic. A lot of rushes to CISO involve Lancers, which is rather basic air units. And so I've got to be careful with that. I've got to make sure to get some Teths out because I need to, because the Teth is the anti air class of units for Vekir. So Teth Veer and then from there Teth Pulsers will be able to provide fairly decent anti air defense. At this point, still just building up, and I will be getting an expansion fairly soon, or I will be expanding out fairly soon with this Zion Veer. And my Teth Veer has gotten killed, so at this point, I don't know if that Marine is actually coming to my base or if it's going to be doing something else, but I'm going to get a couple more Teth Veer just to make sure that I have anti-air, like I said before. And this depot is almost done, so once this depot is done, I'm going to turn this Teth Veer into a Teth Pulsar. And there it is. Okay, so now I have a Teth Pulsar building and another Teth Veer being built inside my or inside my annex, and just going to design Veer out of that just in case he does go for more ground units. The thing is, the Zion Veer, or the Zion class of units are more powerful, but more powerful against ground. Against air, there's a lot less power from Oh shit, he's. Okay, he's he's preempted my expansion, so I can't really go there for a safe expansion. Probably. Maybe I should turn this into a Zion Pulsar first, and then. Then from there, I should be able to get some more units built. And at this point, I should probably actually build up some area. Oh, no, I'm gonna just build up. Get some inventory to prepare to build areas of my own. But if he's expanding down there, I'll have to worry about that. Actually, I don't need to do that. If he's building areas down or if he's building an expansion down there, I need to worry about that because that means that he's gonna be using it. He's gonna be building an expansion right next to my base, and that is quite worrisome. So let's get another Zion Pulsar out. And keep this Teth Veer in here. I'll be pro probably building another Teth Pulsar, but I may build a Teth Churcher. Depending on whether or not I can get air units first. So I'm just going to send the Zion Veer up here because he will be able to do a lot more damage. And it looks like, yeah, right? So it looks like he is building the expansion down here. I don't think this Marine is going to be doing too well against my Zion Pulsar. However, I'm not 100% sure. And it looks like, actually, it looks like he's going to be able to do a fair amount of damage. Just get a foundation up. And actually, no, no. Okay, so his Marines are not lasting that long. They're fairly frail units, but they are quite strong, so they can pose a threat. At this point, I will be finding out whether or not he's actually expanding up the top and make sure that he's not because if he is that's gonna be a problem for me. It looks like he was expanding down here, he's got a couple resource processors building up, and I should probably send just send a Zion Pulsar up here with Zion Veer just to protect it. And get another Teth Pulsar up as well. Because like I said I don't know where he's going for air units or not. And like I said Tiso is really good with air units. So that can be worrisome. My aerial control center is not quite done yet, so I won't quite have the opportunity to build areas yet, but I can still build a fairly decent army in the process in the meantime. And it looks like he doesn't actually have anything built up here. Oh no, he does. He has a special ops up here ready for an attack, so I'm going to wait on this and send, special, send the 
samples her hero design veer goes and builds and research processors, securing this expansion a bit more for myself. At this point, I do have so I do have arianas now. I can now build arianas. I can get, get some chin pulsers just here for now and design pulsers as well once the boosters has come through. And okay, so now the boosters are through. So now my teth pulser should be able to just pick this top expansion of the teth pulser on top of the design pulser. As you can see, I'm starting to build a lot more vehicles, trying to just make sure that none of them die, but at the very least, make sure that they also do actually get out there and attack. Because otherwise, the thing is with Vecchio is that if they get hit too often too early, they are really easy to stop. Because the thing is, they take a while to build any units, so any units that come up and attack are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. It actually looks like, oh crap, it looks like he's finished my attack a bit more. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I think... Looks like he actually stopped... Did he stop me from attack? I think he stopped me from building up my base up here. Yes, it looks like he had, so I should probably go back and change this a bit. Actually, individual, and then... And design pulse will have to come up here, and this guy will have to build... Oh shit, he's killed four. Okay, so it looks like he's going back even further back in time to stop my expansion. So it looks like I'm going to have to be a bit more preparative. I can tell though, because it looks like yeah, he is coming to attack me, and to make sure to check this design view from the special op. No, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! Shit, no! Ah, shit, I've lost it! I can't undo it. Ah! Okay, well, that Zion Beer is done. I don't. Now I'm in a really bad position because I needed that Zion Beer to do an expansion and. pretty much have to send a new one, but I'm so close to the edge. My playable pass that I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh crap. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a really bad spot right now. I do not have the energy to do any of this stuff, and I need. I absolutely positively need this expansion right now, otherwise, I will not have the resources to keep going. So it looks like he actually isn't doing a bad job of messing up my momentum, which is really quite worrisome. But it looks like at this point I should be able to recover a bit more. I'm just going to have to build up a bit, make sure I do have the defensive card to hold this off and take that expansion for myself. Actually, you know what? I can actually probably take the expansion below as well. Now that he's gone... Now that Shalk is not taking that area, he probably I could probably take it for myself. Anyway, so it looks like I'm gonna have a fairly easy time getting through this, provided that I don't get hit again in the past, but it doesn't look like anything's really coming up at this point. Okay, what's going on in the future? Okay, so there is some attack coming in the future. But I should have why is my Shin Pulsar not taking care of it? Okay, so, so the Shin Pulsar to take care of it for now. The Shin Pulsar should, take, should take, make short work of this Marine and... That's where I wonder if he went. Oh, right, it was actually an error. Oh, right, never mind, okay. So, we're still good. Design Veer is just going forward, or Design Pulsar is now going forward. Design Veer is coming to take the expansion here, and so at this point, I. And in a slightly better position than I was before, but still not that great. I'm still a bit behind when it comes to where I'd like to be, and the fact that I am kind of running low in chrono energy is worrisome. But I should still be fine. Okay, so at this point I do have an expansion building up top and in the bottom, so I do have a fairly good, fairly solid set of base. I just need to make sure that I have enough to properly fight. I do need to get my Shinbeer out here because I. Actually, at this point, it looks like Shinjiro is going to be able to protect it. So, come on, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's not going to work. Once again, I'm still in a bit of a bad spot. I'm going to have to get units over here. There's, I need to get a Shin Pulsar over here because otherwise, or Shin Beer over here because it's the only thing I have that can detect invisible units. And there's an invisible unit right there doing a lot of damage to me. Really, at this point, the only thing that's limiting me is resources or chrono energy. So I should probably get some tech so I can get some higher resource units so I can actually take advantage of my high resource count. Because I am floating resources a fair bit, this isn't exactly a good strategy, but at the same time I am having a hard time actually controlling anything. I have very little chrono energy left. 
and unfortunately my temp here is panicking a bit. Units tend to panic when I hit my cloak unit, so that can be an issue, but I just need to get the Shinveer over there to deal some damage, and then I should be fine. Send this, uh, actually, I'm going to build... Build... Uh, build a foundation. Once I remember the hockey is. Because a foundation on its own can heal nearby units, so I'll just use that to heal some nearby units, and then also build up some Hawking Blast because I need the firepower. And at this point, I have I can detect the ATHC, so now it's gone, and there's a nice Shinveer here which can build a foundation and help secure this area. So at this point, I have a foundation being built up near there and another foundation near healing up my troops, so fairly soon I should have everything built up and a fairly decent sized army to go for an attack. Though it looks like it looks like I'm still further back in the past than my opponent is. I'm just going to build a depot up here for now because I want to make sure that I do have capacity to rebuild my vehicles as they die, because one of the nice things about Vekir is that they can actually rebuild vehicles after dying. They, their infantry will drop out of the vehicle, and then from there they can rebuild it. it. Looks like I'm in a bit of a bad spot. If I can get this depot up and protect it, then I'll be fine. I'll be able to just get the vehicles up, rebuild them, and have a nice little staging point right next to my opponent. I'm just going to actually set up a bit more.